Well, it's been one week since Princess Kate Middleton announced her shocking cancer diagnosis. Comes we know after she recently underwent abdominal surgery. So now a lot of questions surrounding abdominal cancer. What is it? Who does it impact? Can it be prevented? And here to answer those questions and more is local oncologist Dr. James McCarty of Alliance Cancer Care. Dr. McCarty, this has been the topic of the week we know and largely because still so much is unknown about Princess Kate and her specific condition. Uh, but I want to have a, a broader conversation. When we say abdominal cancer, what exactly does that mean and what could we possibly Possibly be dealing with? Yeah, it's a great question. From a cancer doctor's perspective, we'll often describe a cancer by the specific organ that it started in, breast or lung. Abdominal cancer, abdominal is just a region of the body. It actually includes multiple organs. It could be 20 different cancers. I think the royal family is using that language carefully. It's a little bit of a vague term. I think they're doing that to protect the princess's privacy. Uh, which is a super important thing to do. Sure. Uh, but abdominal cancer is really a big family of cancers. It's a term cancer doctors don't particularly use, but it could be a variety of different cancers. Yeah, again, still so much still unknown on this case, but of course we are respecting the privacy of the royal family. Uh, we do want to point out she is so young, right? Only 42 years old, and we have seen reports about increasing rates of colorectal cancer in younger patients. Why do you think that's the case? It's a great question. It's being studied right now. There's lots of things that are risk factors for colorectal cancer. Some of the things can include obesity and diet and sedentary lifestyles. We are absolutely seeing an increase in the number of younger folks, especially folks younger than the age of, say, 50. So folks in their 30s and 40s, historically, they made up about 10% of all colorectal cancer diagnoses. Now it's doubled that over the last handful of years. Uh, they now, young people now make up 20% of all colorectal cancer diagnoses. Wow, again, just an absolutely shocking diagnosis on behalf of the princess. Uh, we do wanna point out though, there are measures I understand people can take in hopes of preventing these types of cancers to some extent. Walk us through some of those. Great question. So colorectal cancer, there are screening processes in place that can help not only uh, detect it at earlier stages with higher cure rates, but also prevent it by removing polyps and doing other things. Uh, the, the standard thing we always think about is colonoscopy. It's a visual inspection. There's newer tests that have come out. There's even at home tests. You have tests like Cologuard where you can actually, it's a stool sample test that you can do at home and send off. And it's a very effective way at screening. Uh, we always ask people to have a conversation with your physician about what is best for you, but lots of screening opportunities now for colorectal cancer. Yeah, I certainly want to stress the importance of that. Dr. McCarty, thank you again so, so much for your time. Again, we know so much is still unknown here, specifically on Princess Kate's case, uh, but you are so knowledgeable on this subject in general. And so we thank you so, so much for shedding some light on it this morning. Thank you. Always pleasure.